welcome to my channel I'm on the paper bag journal it seems to be taking me absolutely ages um, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be but I'm nearing the end so I'm just going to put the back papers on here roughly lining it up with this one here so I put some of my block or your Fabri-Tac onto there to hold that in then I've got my paper here which I've um, inked round already that way round <laughs> I've inked round already and cut out so we'll stick this on as well which covers up that bit of sar um, not sari silk seam binding that I've dyed using tea um, for the tie and then we can I've got a couple of bits inside that I still need to work on right before I put that on I'm also putting a bit of block on here just to make sure that it stays down there this goes on here level it all up hopefully there my wipe. I found also going gluing onto some of these papers bags has been quite difficult, especially the shiny ones. I've used tacky glue. Um, it just seems to take a while to contact as well, I've noticed, but it does do it. So there's that on there. Then I've got a couple of bits here to finish up um, on this bit. I've just made a quick collage um, and I've used some paper that I've used in my um, oops, wrong way around, coffee dyeing and this is just a scrap of the paper that was left over that I've actually put uh, onto some tea dye paper. Oh, I haven't inked this, I thought I had. Oh, I managed to get a re-inker for my vintage photo Distress Oxide from my local craft shop. She ordered it in for me. So that was quite handy. It took a week to come. I also ordered the um, Salvage Patina new ink that's out. Well, been out a little while, I think. I've ordered that. I ordered that as well. So I'm looking forward to using that. <laughs> I've um, I watched Linda Verrill's uh organizing video that she did with the collaboration with Cara Brandon and um, she had a good idea that when she finished as she cut papers up she puts them on a magazine and uh, so I managed to pick up a freebie um, when I was out the other day right then I've got this one here so I've been, when I started with this one, I've started putting my scraps onto that and she makes them into backgrounds. Oh no, I think this one. So that's quite good. Use this one. Little one. Just realised I've left my glue overnight without a lid on. My big glue. So I dread to think what that's going to look like, going to be like to try and get to work. So I'll use this little one for now. I just thought this needed something a little bit extra on and also all these flowers and butterflies came with the kit so I thought it was a good idea to use up as much as I could that was with the kit that goes on there put that on there and that slips into there like that um, what else have I got and I've got this to finish up as well a tag and I've just done some quick collaging when I was uh, glue, uh, <coughs> gluing all those bits of paper I realized I've got a whole box full of stuff 
well I know I have um, and it's getting bigger so I thought I'd just do some collaging on <coughs> excuse me on here there's some book pages and some vintage music paper I have inked all this up as well I mean there's still a lot of the kit left I did print it small as I said so I've still got quite a bit left that on there and then I've got this little tiny um, journal card so I don't know ephemera piece decorating piece that I'm going to put on there I hope you're all well anyway so that goes there and that's going in there one of the other things I did do and I don't know if you can see here I used um, my scribble sticks by Dina Wakeley and I painted this in clear gesso and then scribbled around the outside to give it a sort of a nice border I used the umber crayon so that's sort of I've done it a few times on some of the tags just to enhance the border because it was quite plain so I thought that went quite well because when you do it with just distress it sort of is like that so you can see the difference using the scribble sticks or if you've got the Tim Holtz crayons something like that you can do it with but you need to put the clear gesso on so that when you put water use your water brush one of these you put it around the edge um, so it brings out the colour um, I think that's it one of the other things I've decided I'm going to do as well I will tie this up for now is um, put something because this will rest like that as you can see this really needs gluing down this is the back page you have to hold it and really squidge it in to, for it to stick I found with that some of these paper bags but one of the other things I'm going to do is I was a little worried about the stitching but when I tried to put lace on obviously you've got to open the front bit here so I found some lovely pink um, oh, I don't know Rick rack I think that's what it's called Rick rack so I thought I would just put this across the top here just to reinforce this stitching a little bit it seems fine doesn't seem to be a problem it's not pulling or anything like that just that I think I'm being careful so I thought I would uh, just put this on here like that and then it will at least put it up a bit um, allow the envelopes to open up as well so I'll squidge that down like that trim off the top there like that you can see there and then one of the other things I think I'll do is I'm going to put some lace along here along the edges here so again um, using your block you put these I'm putting this on the edge put the block all the way along here or your Fabri-Tac whichever you prefer so put that all the way along there and then attach this like that there so I've got three more to do and I think that's it and then I'll be back shortly with a quick flip through of everything I've done okay I'm back with the flip through of it now finished um, as I say, it took me quite a bit of time, longer than I thought. I think it is I've had so many paper bags to cover. So I've tied up the front, as you know, with the twine. I've got a journal card in here, and I've used just some words, um, phrases I've got that were freebie from Artie Mays. Another journal card there. 
which goes in that way. And then the other thing I've done, I've used some black acrylic paint and splattered as well. So that does up like that. Some of this you'll recognise because we've done it together. And I've just used um, seam binding to tie it up with. So we open up like that. In this one, I haven't, some of the pockets I've not put anything in. I've left that. Um, we did this together. Uh, well, one of the other things is I've used my um, Posca pens, paint pens, and done some little white dots and some black dots on some of the pages and tags. You'll see as we go along. Inside here is the little notebook I made. Um, that's covered in some pink material. I've just stapled it. And again, I've got some black splodges on there. That goes in that one. I mean, there is journaling space. It's quite, it, there isn't loads, but I mean, there's places here you can journal on here. If you're lose, using a black pen, as you can see from the splodges, it uh, shows up quite well. Um, you saw the cluster there, the tag I made. Um, I put a little material cluster on the back, lace. Um, in here, there's nothing in that one. This one we just just done. Just a little small journal card. I've put uh, some washi tape and some words again. I think these were freebie arty maze and some of the flowers from the kit. And the lace obviously going down the side. In here is a freebie from 49 Dragonflies that I've tea dyed and then inked around. So that's quite a bit of journaling space there. As I say, you can write here. Oh, and I've just put half a label in there because it matches up with that one I've done. That was a smaller version. Then you saw this with the double sided tag that we did. It goes in there. And then in here, again, is the little note card, journal card, where I just put a flower on the front. But again, lots of space there to journal. Um, just put some words and the flowers on there. These are two tags from the kit. And um, again, I'd collaged on here with some vintage music paper, tea dyed doily. And I've, I don't think you can see very well, but there's white. Uh, dots on there. I do have a white gel pen but it just wasn't working. And then again with this one I hadn't clear gessoed this one but I used my crayons around the edge but you can't really see what didn't work so well. It's better on the uh, clear gessoed tag. More journaling space, more black splodges. <laughs> um, nothing in there. And then I've got that journal card that was shrunk down and the little this came with the kit as well and I just I put some washi tape on the back but just attach that there's something a little extra on there fits in that one these have got just three very small journal cards as you know these pockets aren't very deep so these were the shrunk down cards that I shrank to 50% so I thought they fitted in there quite well and then you've seen these we oh dear we made them the first video I think it was um, so they just fit in there I have just put words on here and a number and there's a little tag and a journal card in there we did that one together um, nothing in there I have put a pocket on the back here with an uh, embellishment. And then the two tags that we've done, this say this is the one with the clear gesso that worked quite well. And then that was the one we've just done. And then there's this one here that I've backed with tea paper. And I've just collaged on here. These are a freebie on RT Mays, the numbers. And these two came with the kit. And again, I'll just put a word on the back. As you, I think there is quite a bit of journaling space because you can write on all of this. Uh, nothing in there. 
And then this was done at the very beginning, small journal card and a small tag in that pocket. Again, I've put a little cluster down here using washi tape, Artie Mays' numbers. And then this one I've used my blank, black, black <laughs> Posca pen on. I don't know if you can see that there. I just think it highlights the flower a little bit more. Um, nothing in that one. This one's got one of the little journal cards. These three children appear quite a lot through it, as you know, as you can see from the papers. Um, this one, I had difficulty gluing these on because it's shiny. I do love these papers, they're so gorgeous. It's the Collage Tear Kit number three. Another journal card from Line.Arrow. And I just put paper on there and left the journal card as it was, it matches up. And I've just left that at the back. I mean, on all of these envelopes, there's still room to put other things. This one has a very large journal card in, whoops, wrong way around, journal card in, backed with tea paper. So that slots in there. As you know, I did glue some of them down to stop them being too big. And then another little collage there with the washi and the words. And this is a tag with a little tuck pocket that we made at the very beginning. And then we come to the back. There, which has stuck now. <laughs> Took a while, but it got there. Anyway, I hope you like it. As I say, it's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, thanks very much for watching and following along with me. I do appreciate it and thank you to all my new subscribers I've got lately. It's been great to see you all here and I've got a lot more projects coming up in the next few months. Thanks very much. Speak to you soon. Bye. Oh, don't forget the like button and the notification bell. And if you're a new, sub new uh, viewer, then it would be great if you could subscribe. Thanks very much again. Bye.